So I'm here with Trey Hageman. He's a member of the Lower Columbia Baseball Club, also a member of the Astoria High School Club. And Trey, this this school year, you actually be, uh, earned the MVP for the league. Um, kind of walk me through your season and kind of uh, you know what it felt like to be get the honor of uh, being the MVP. Uh, well, so this year I stepped in kind of into a leadership role. We graduated nine seniors last year. So um, when I came in, um, I kind of knew I had to be the guy to step up and be that leader. So uh, to earn that for my club who had a new coach, had a whole new group of guys, um, was really inspiring uh, for me and it made me feel accomplished due to the fact that um, some of the guys in front of me who were really great baseball players who I played under and watched perform, um, they didn't earn this honor. So it's a really big honor for me to um, kind of step in and take that. Um, so other than that, that was really cool. Yeah, I'd say nine seniors. That's a lot of players to uh, see turnover. Is your team a pretty young team? A lot of uh, sophomore, that type of thing. Yeah, we were very young. We only had two returning starters um, on the field. Um, we would have had three, but he ended up tearing his ACL during football. So um, stepping in, we had a very young team. New coach um, hasn't coached uh, varsity yet. Um, he had been in our JV program for several years. Um, so we were very young. We ended up starting a lot of underclassmen, a handful of juniors, and. Uh, three seniors, so um, pretty young squad. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's a, that's a pretty big change for for any school. So, you know, kind of looking back at at the season and now looking here for this summer, you're playing with lo the Lower Columbia Baseball Club. What is kind of your focus and what is kind of uh, your hope to um, to develop and what things are you focusing on? Um, I'm really focusing on uh, getting ready uh, just for next year. It's going to be really competitive, um, really good baseball club next year um, that I'm going to be stepping into. So um, I'm really looking forward to uh, kind of developing my skills just a little bit more to kind of get that edge on, on top of some other kids. So uh, that's really my goal. I really want to have some fun with a good group of guys. And um, for what I've seen, it's a really fun group of guys. So I'm really excited. Yeah, in fact, the school you're going to is Len Benton, who this season um, only lost two season, two games in the regular season, uh, made it to the NWAC championship, but then lost out in two games. But kind of, what are you uh, hoping to accomplish next year with the team, and and what is it like going to a team that's been that successful? Um, well, really, it's kind of like just coming back any regular season. We've been a really successful program the last few years in Astoria. So um, it kind of is almost like home, and I have some friends on the team who I've grown up with, so um, it'll be good, but it's also going to really show me um, who I am because I'm not going to have a spot open for me. i got to be the guy to work for it and earn it. So um, I'm really excited about that. Also, um, along with how good they are, I've watched them play, and there's a lot of good guys. Their infield's really solid, so... Um, really, my goal next year is just kind of working to find a spot just in the rotation. Maybe not a full-time starter, but trying to get in that rotation, maybe the 10th guy that still gets at-bats. But that's my goal is to, to be able to play next year. Awesome. I mean, you talked about you know work ethic, trying to get in there. Who in your life has been that kind of motivator and kind of inspired you to be your best? Um, number one off the top of my head would be uh, my high school coach, Dave Gasser. A uh, really well-known man across the baseball world. Um, he has inspired me since I went to my first baseball camp with him when I was eight years old and he, he's worked with me ever since. Um, I even do uh, videos for him with Jugs because he has a partnership with Jugs so uh, me and a few buddies go with that and do videos for him and so he's been a real inspiration to me. He texts me all the time, we get coffee, he's always there when I need to talk or if I have struggles with baseball he's always there. Um, him and also my family. Um, I've had a really good group of friends in front of me who have kind of taught me what I need to know throughout uh, high school, especially leadership and how to be a person. So um, those are the top three off the top of my head. Awesome. And, you know, for a lot of younger players, um, you may look at upperclassmen as you're growing up, but also look at major league players and kind of say, maybe not copy their style, but their work ethic. Yeah. Is there a player you've had that you kind of said, you know what? I like what he does. I want to be in that same type of mold. Well, the number one that I can think of would be Bryce Harper. Just like watching him play, um, I love his swing. His swing's awesome. He, I mean, he's just an awesome guy. So when I watch him play, that's who I kind of want to be. I want to have that kind of swing. I want to be his character. Um, just and overall, that'd be my number one. And last question I have for you: you No, know, you know you're about to go to college and play there. You know, there's a lot of younger generation kids, a lot of you know, low leaguers. What advice do you have for them as they're looking towards the future? Uh, number one advice is don't be satisfied with who you are as a player. Because growing up in a small town, you can settle for being that stud out of Astoria. But 
in the real world you got to realize you're in a small place and there's a lot of guys in, out there that are trying to be better than you and basically you can't settle for being the top guy on the coast you gotta try and work your way up to being one of the best guys in the state so um that'd be my number one thing work ethic never be satisfied with who you are because you can always be better you can always work harder so um really just work for that awesome well trey thank you very much thank you hey you not a problem